Hey guys and gals, Sweet Project Cars here. Glad to have you with us. This is a quick tutorial. If you bought one of these welder battery revampers, we call it. There's a couple of things that people have asked about, and Kerry Rogers asked about this. So I'm going to try to help you out. The instructions are set pretty much for welding and that kind of stuff. And then when you use the stapler here for welding uh, plastic together with staples, like this right here. That's what this is set up for. It's not set up for doing batteries, but that's what we're using it for because it works the best and it's amazing what it does. So anyhow, here's what you want to do. I had one guy ask, what happens if you can't get the clamp on a standard battery post? And because this is a lawnmower battery, it clips right on there easy. If you have the standard round post, like a car battery would have, all you have to do is use a pair of vice grips and clamp it on the post like that. Then you would take your clamp and clamp it on there. You, it'll work on either end. Just use vice grips. I mean, you can use needle nose vice grips if you want, put it on the other one, clamp it on here, you're good to go. So that's how you take care of not being able to get it on your post. The only weak spot I see with this welder is the ground clamp it's a little weak it bends right here so you can either replace the clamp with a heavier duty one or reinforce this by putting something in there to reinforce it so it doesn't bend like that that's the only weak spot we found with this and I will be replacing that clamp with a heavier duty one We'll clamp that there. The on switch for this is in the back. You put your clamps on first and then you turn it on. And when you turn it on, this button right here goes in and out. You, you push that. You want the top light to light up here, current. Your battery will probably boil over to a certain extent even on this up here if you have too much fluid in it. But if you have it on hot start for welding, it will give an extra boost of power to get you going. You don't want it on that. So what we're going to do is, so we just turn this on. Takes a second to turn on. And you can see I have the current set up there and it's at 140. So I'm going to turn this down once it takes a second to do its thing. Okay, so I'm down to 30. That's where you start, and then you slowly go up with it to 50 to 75, depending on if you're doing a motorcycle battery, like the uh, drag specialties battery back here, then you would do it at a lower current. But right now, we're going to start at 30. This here, you don't want that on, that light. You just want to hit that soft touch button right there until it reads right there. MMA right in the middle and you'll see this one changes when you hit that we don't want that we want to keep it on MMA turn this down to 30 push that button watch what it does we don't want that that's why people are blowing breakers because they're not set on just standard current so if you do that, it puts an extra boost in it. You don't want that. It'll blow your 15 amp breaker. So push the button in until it reads the top. And if we look in the battery right now, I'll get the camera around. We're on 32. And you can see the battery's bubbling down there. Now if we turn it up to 50, It's not boiling over and I've got all the fluid right at the bottom of the hole where you want it. You may see some bubbles come up out of the top, nothing big. Now let's go to 75. Just for the fun of it. You don't need it that high, 70 will do. No boil over. And your boil over and fuse blowing will be if you don't have it on this red light. So now we'll turn it off. Turn it 
turn it back on and you can see it's on current flashing and if you set it there when you turn it on and off it'll stay there 30 let's go to 100 just for the fun of it and see if it boils over all right we're getting some bubbles coming to the top a little bit but you don't need it at 100. Follow the videos that we've posted already on how to do this. There's 75. This is what it should look like. Right there. Don't do that. Have that up there. Boil overs and fuse blowing is because you're not set. And that is done by pushing this button in. Boom, boom, boom. So it's set on 75 and look at the battery. Beautiful. Doing a beautiful job right now of revamping that battery. Hope this helps you guys.